Hey everyone, happy Saturday! Another day, another video on YouTube for Don't Fret. Hi. You know what, I'm looking at myself here and I'm like, God damn it, you know, I was going to go get a beard trim the day of lockdown, like I planned, I'm gonna, I was going to walk up to this place that does walk-ins, get a, get a beard trim, uh, and they locked down, right? So I'm now stuck with an overgrown beard to begin with, and then lockdown. So it's not like I'm growing the beard within lockdown, it was overgrown beforehand anyway. Um, so, like, it's looking like, you know, they're saying mid-February. I think we're dreaming if that's mid-February. Mid before they start looking at alternatives. I am going to be struggling beard-wise by then. That is going to be a challenge. That is for sure. It's fine. Totally fine. First world problems, isn't it? Having a slightly overgrown beard. Be interesting, though. A couple of years' time, looking back on some of these videos and <laughs> seeing the size of this beard, God knows what I'll be like then. Um, already looking like Castaway, which incidentally is ironically my old uh, gamer handle. But that's a completely different story. What I want to talk about today is sleeping. Sleeping. Um, so I've struggled with... Um, sleep for years years and years and years and years and years and i'm going to try and short this story down but suffice to say um i've always been a bit of a night owl rather than a morning person always struggled to get out of bed um and you know not really wanting to sleep on an evening uh the, this changed for a brief period of time when i was in los angeles because uh it would take like, if I hadn't left my house by, like, 6.25 on a morning, uh, then the roads would just be chaos. But I'm, I could beat the traffic as long as I left by 6.25. So then I was, you know, I would go to the gym, I would uh, meditate, I would do all these things long before 9 o'clock. I would even get some work done before, before 9 a.m. would start. And it's probably the most empowered time of my life. But then I started my own business and, you know, it's easy to let things slide. Um, and particular that this became significantly more challenging when I moved back to the UK because my business was an events business when all the events were in the US. So most of the calls that I would have and most of the, the interactions that I would have would be between the hours of like 2 p.m. UK time and you know, the 10 p.m. UK time, the U.S. East Coast was shot, but it wouldn't be till 1 a.m. UK time till the Pacific Coast uh, would close. So if I was doing an event in Los Angeles or San Francisco, that meant I was still working till like 1 a.m. Um, and this created this, this almost like, ins well, this and a number of other factors create this kind of like insomnia type of experience because even if I didn't have an event there would still be the cycle and it was almost like like I would really really struggle to sleep every night and then subsequently struggle to get up on a morning and you know if you don't get up on a morning then you don't sleep at night and it's just this perpetual kind of cycle I think a lot of people think when they when they think about insomnia and sleep they think about it's just the evening thing but there's there's the morning aspect as well and it was equal parts impossible to get out of bed feeling so so tired and then impossible to get to sleep and of course then you get people that don't experience these things trying to give you advice right particularly around you know oh just go to bed early you know go to bed early read um meditate and you know gradually fall asleep that's not how it works like mind races mind clicks in and then the more ang anxious that you get about not sleeping the worse it becomes and you end up just lying there for hours upon hours getting worse not getting better not getting more tired you get more anxious 
And then of course, oh, well, just get up early. And if you could just keep yourself awake, then you'd be tired at night. No, you, if you got, got out of bed on a morning, you'd be tired all day and you still wouldn't sleep at night. That's what happened to me. Uh, and it's very much kind of still happening. I still struggle with sleep now. The uh, One night this week, it was at least 3 a.m. before I got to sleep. And that's with like 8 a.m. starts. Um, so it's been, it's been a lot of challenge, but I watched this video today and it's a video that I kind of want to share with you. And it's um, a Tom Bilyeu video for anybody that's familiar with Tom Bilyeu. Um, and it's a compilation video of seven different core tips that he has about improving your sleep. And there's some statistics around like why sleep is so important and particularly around kind of like energy levels and weight loss. Because right now, even though my sleep patterns are a little better, you know, I'm not often in bed past 9 a.m. Um, most of the time I get to sleep before 1 a.m. or 2 a.m., which is a hell of a lot better than it used to be, trust me. To some people that may still sound terrific, but um, like there's still a malaise that lasts so, so much of the day, a fatigue, a chronic fatigue. And so many days it's like, get up on the morning and I'm like, it's like three, four hours before I even feel vaguely alive. So, I'm very keen on implementing some new sleep tips. Uh, the sleep tips that I've had to try and improve this. Because I want to wake up on the morning feeling empowered. I want to wake up on the morning feeling ready to go. You know, I, I feel like I've got this purpose in my life now, but without the energy to fulfill it. Um, and a couple of the tips that I'm going to kind of focus on is one, no food three hours before sleep. Um, the guy said that it's like, if you eat, if you eat before you go to sleep, then what's happening is then you may go to sleep, but the factory is still running, right? It's still trying to digest the food. So the factory is still running. So your heart rate doesn't go low, uh, doesn't reduce, and you don't go into a deep sleep because the factory is still running, still trying to digest. So no food, Three hours, so no food after 8 p.m. Basically, that's that's one of my rules. Um, exercise first thing on a morning. Uh, and the guy said that this is, like, not only is this key for weight loss, um, but so basically, from what I understand, not a neuroscientist, not a biologist, but from what I understand, your cortisol levels are at their strongest on a morning. It's actually what wakes you up on a morning. So they're your strongest. Um, so by activating that, by doing five minutes of exercise on a morning, that you're actually kind of using the cortisol to get the most out of your workout. And apparently just five minute workout on a morning does something to your day. Like it sets off that, um, I think it's the circadian rhythm. So if you do that first thing, then that tr that's what triggers your circadian rhythm. So if you don't, for example, if you're like me and you get up and you have a coffee and you sit there and you maybe do some vague work, but you don't really kind of get your blood flowing for a few hours, then it's that that starts things off, right? Not just, not just getting out of bed. So um, that's another one that I'm going to do. Um, daylight is another huge, huge, huge one getting n enough uh, daylight throughout the day um so kind of making sure that you spend time outside screen light does not count um bulbs do not count room light doesn't count it has to be sunshine it has to be sunlight even on a cloudy day um, and I'll, I'll share the complete video so you can have a look at the tips yourself. If you're struggling with sleep in any way, shape or form, you can uh, have a look at some of the advice yourself. And I'm also going to be taking on a sleep app 
um, to see if I can kind of document my journey. And I'm going to, I'll keep you guys posted on, on what I discover. So for anybody that is struggling to sleep, um, I invite you to like and subscribe this video. Comment below and let me know your kind of your journey and your experiences with sleep. Um, and I'm more than happy to go on this journey together. Like accountability could be, is absolutely huge in any of these environments. We could document our journey experience and share experiences, see what we can learn together. I don't, I don't wanna sleep bad anymore. I wanna sleep better, I wanna have more energy. It's as simple as that. Let's see what happens. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.